and welcome to Hunting Old Teruan. Today I'm here with a couple of policemen, Damien, Kia ora. and Rob. Kia ora. Tell me, mate, uh, not many policemen I know of hunt, apart from a couple back home, but how long have you been hunting? Um, my dad started taking hunting when I was six, so I don't know, 30, 30 years? Just a couple of years? Yeah, one or two. <laughs> how about you, Rob? Oh, I suppose I started when I was about, first hunt was probably about five years old. Yeah, so uh, 20, 15 years ago. Hello. <laughs> yeah, right there, mate. <laughs> yeah. And tell us, uh, what sort of hunting are we going to do today or tonight? Uh, this afternoon we're going to head down to uh, towards Murchison and we're going to hunt some red deer. The pigs there will take him, but um, pretty much the red deer is a staple target species down there, where we're going, and it's a pretty good spot for them. Yeah. And what about the terrain there, uh, Rob? Uh, you fellas look a bit fit, and I'm a bit worried about where we're going. He's not is fit. It? <laughs> is it hilly yeah. or for us, for us old fellas? No, no, it's, uh, it's, it's actually quite good walking, and it's, it's reasonably clear bush, um, sort of pine, foam edge native, um, but it's, it's pretty easy going, all in all. And I understand today if we catch anything, it's going to someone's wedding. Oh, so we yeah, better but, catch something because your in-laws won't be yeah, impressed with you. That's the plan. I've got to come up with the goods now. Now that I've got their, uh, I've got their daughter, I've got to come up with the, with the, with the wild game. <laughs> well, how's this sound for a plan? You find it, he shoot it, and I'll carry it. Sounds good to me. That's us? Yeah. yeah. Let's go and get us a deer. All right, let's go hunting. <laughs> Mau te wehi o te haere a Rob Roa ko Damien ki ta wahi kohuru. I tere rawa tā mātou piki whakarunga ki reira i mua atu i te tonga i te rā. I tā mātou taenga atu i te tū haere ngā ihu o ngā kuri. He tohu rangatira nō te rā. Ā, i heke tonu mātou ki ta wahi o te kohuru. Well, we're here in the Tutagi Valley. We've just had a 20-minute hike straight uphill to blow all the cobwebs and everything else out. Now, Damien, what's the plan from here, man? Uh, well, we're going to get into a bit of bush hunting first. We've still got a bit of time before dark. So we'll take the opportunity. It's always a bit, a bit more fun shooting in the bush if we can get something um, on the flush or in the surprise. We'll, we'll carry on and hook into it, shall we? That's us, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ia Damien, kaore mātou e tino tāwhiti i tawahi i kite ai i ngā tia e kai pā titi ana. Ka tahi ka te takahi mātou i tēnei wahi o te ngahere. Ka tahi rā te whakamataku i roto i au e tohu ana e kararehe kaiko. Tonu te titiro e te tohu o ngā tia I heke whakamua a Rob Hei manutaki mai mātou ki te ātra tirotiro I ngā tahataha o te ngahere Nā te tino mākū o te papa I ua ua ai te rongo a ngā kuri I te tohu a te tia I mohi o tonu mātou ki hae roa Ko tutu te puehu Ka tahi rā, ka puehu mai te papa Awesome, awesome. Gentlemen, awesome. Thank you, excellent, wasn't it? Three shots. 
Who got no, us? No, I, I Who got, got it? I got it. I got no, it no, first. Got, I got it first. And then well, well, we better count how many holes are in it, because I know I hit it. <laughs> Doesn't matter who got it, mate. Let's got him. give a few more holes in it when Manners is finished. Does it, does, does it do that to your pigs? You wouldn't have to singe them. No, yeah. she does that to everything. That's an awesome hunt, mate. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. And not too far from the truck. Just the right size for your wedding, mate. The back stays, mate. You'll have to go into the animals with the chest pump. They might, have to, they might have to be sausages, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's all right, though. You might get five bucks for the velvet, but... Yeah. Is I don't know what it's, it's worth good, these yeah, days. It's good, yeah, it's about right for harvesting that velvet. It's still yeah. He knows he's much in your dogs, mate. Especially this one here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he knows he's a deer, yeah. right? Yeah. doesn't look like much of a dog, but with one eye and she's deaf and all her teeth are broken, but... The old she's... hunters who want to pinch a pig dog wouldn't look twice at looking no, at that. No, no. But, um, Great tracker though, eh? Great tracker, you know? Just can't yeah. stop her when she's on it. But i got to keep her on the lead. Um, because she just gets too keen, and because she's deaf, I can't call her back. So I've got to wait till she looks at me and then signal back. But it does, doesn't need a lot of instruction, pretty much knows what the drill is by now. Well, I saw it, and Rob was about um, 10 metres ahead of me, and there's no way I could make a shot because Rob was there. So, um, and I knew it had seen us because it was trotting, so I figured, well, I'll just run up to Rob and then get a, get a chance as well. So. Well, at least it, it puts worked a bit out of well. Truth on the story about 250 meters running. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. So there was, there was running. It was about 100 mm. meters shot. They seem to, they like that. There's a bit more feed in the in the pine forest, and they seem to have a bit of security with the trees around. So um, I wouldn't expect them to be out grazing right in the open at the moment, but but gives us a little bit more hunting along the fringes. <laughs> Ita <laughs> Well, it's just after 11 at night and the boys are a bit muckadidi and unfortunately, gentlemen, no deer was dumb enough to stick their head out tonight in the rain. No, mate, I think they're smarter than us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, an awesome day. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anytime. Don't be shy to invite us back. Pleasure. No, it was a good night. And there you have it. A couple of local chappies from the old police department from uh, Mutueka going out and catching the venison. <laughs> Tēnei wiki, ka haere tātou ki a Bruce Tando, he wāhi poku poku ki ta takiwā o kokotahi. He rā tonga whakahaere waka topa topa to Bruce i konei, hei kawai haere e ngā tūrihi mai i Aotearoa me tā wāhi hoki. What actually got you into this, this deer game? Oh, well, I was young guy and got me private aeroplane licence when I was 16 and brought the old Piper Cub and done a bit of meat hunting of that and... Um, Basically got sick of walking up valleys or flying into the aeroplane and helicopters coming in and bloody bombing the hell out of the place. So he was all saying, if you can't beat him, join him. Got my licence in 78, 79, and um, in one of these. and. Um, Went from there and sort of done a bit of a stint overseas and been back here working out of here now since um, the early 80s. So, yeah, we cater for all sorts of things like um, fishermen, do a lot of kayaking and rafting and hunters, tar chamois and red deer. And um, yes, yeah, you know, it's just a um, good little location here and handy to the mountains as you can see, if the weather ever clears. Ko te mutu ngā mai o te wāhi hiika ki tēnei o ngā awa i tēnei wāhi o te awa o Whitcomb. Pretty full-time flying, you know, for about eight months, six to eight months of the year, and then it tapers off over winter, you know, we 
usually duck season we do a lot of fly little duck hunters and around here it's pretty isolated and um, yeah after that it goes quiet until about the end of October and back into the you know the old spring and the deer around and yeah. For the raw here, it's getting pretty popular because there's a lot of books out there on the Whitcomb Valley and the Hokitika of uh, Percy Lies and Cochran and all the rest of the old timers that were here in the 40s and there's been some bloody good heads you know come out of these valleys in recent years and um, yeah it's just you know people start to read about and find out and come down and go for it and pretty easy country uh, around the river flats and that and all up in the tussock the bush in between is a bit hard going as some have found out. <laughs> Ahakua,ngafiunga,tafidimata,ifakaro,tonimata,kitehekeiho,kiakitai,ngatohu. It's pretty easy to shoot from a helicopter. To really get onto a lot of deer, it's a good idea to actually see them and actually go past and come back and have a, have a crack at them then. Um, yeah, and just, yeah, it's just a, something that you get used to. In different areas, you've got to have a different technique, you know. <laughs> Doc, we've got a huge bloody problem now with all the deer and probably so there's nothing done about it, you know, if we don't ever get a, a feral market going again, I think in 15 years we'll certainly see a big number of them, but Doc will get in, the whiz kids from Wellington will get in and start t and in it, I suppose, and just a waste of a huge bloody um, overseas um, earning, you know, and exporting venison like they used to, and, you know, two ways to look at it, they're blasting the place with 1080 and we'll get rid of them or if we get back um, hunting them again, you know. And I'll tell you what will happen, Doc will be hiring us to go out and um, start culling them off like they used to do in the early days on foot. He tawhito rawa te tohu a te tia, me ta mātou kore ki te atu i te tia. He rongo noi ho i te hao ngā maunga me te kōruhu o te awa. Ka ore kau he kōhuru tanga i tēnei rā, engari, koi nā huki te ahua tango o te raputia. Ka whaiora ngā nō rātau i tēnei rā. Bruce, tell us a bit about this net here. Oh, well, these were used for live capture in the early 80s. Um, this particular gun here was um, what we call the, the net gun. Um, it was designed by a guy by the name of Sam Volinsky. Good Māori name, good Māori name. <laughs> and um, as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's 308. Bruno action, I think it is. And um, yeah, just uh, the four barrels, and uh, which the weights on the square net, you just put the net in, fold and put the weights in. And then just put um, masking tape across it just to hold it in, and uh, very successful. Um, I'd hate, to, I couldn't think of how many deer must have been caught with these net guns by different operators throughout New Zealand, you know. And believe it or not, they actually ended up in the States for catching um, undesirable people over there by the place over there. And they had they stopped. They stopped using because apparently there was a few hit on the head with the weights and uh, knocked around a bit. <laughs> And uh, yeah, they were very, very successful. Um, in the days of live capture, they used the old net gun, there was the stun gun, and 
a variety of different uh, means of you know but this was probably the most successful one um, there was a few designs but um, yeah they certainly done their job Te tiro hanga fa ka mutu nga te nei moku ita haere a te tia. Engari na te heke o te marangai i hoki mata uki te kai. Aha kua kaore o no wa uki a puhi a te kutia tua tahi. Hera wa ke te tiro hanga atu mo te nei wa te miharo. So do you put a live charge in there? Yeah, the just um, just blank. the blank goes in there. It's a Bruno action three oh eight. Just a blank goes in here. And you just have it, the shooter would have it just cocked like that and ready to go. And um, when you got onto a, a, onto a hind, you just banged it down and out the door with it and um, fired it. And if you missed, you just um, you have five or six of these in the helicopter on the floor, you just whip the barrel off, and just pick another one up and slam it on, another round in, you're away, you're in that in business. didn't have a kill but I certainly had a thrill the old yeah. Maori boy <laughs> but I think I prefer to keep my both feet on the ground there mate mm -hmm. but Bruce awesome yep. mate. good on you thank you very Thanks. much and that's hunting Aotearoa for this week no whole made up <laughs> I can't help it, eh? <laughs> Where's his handcuffs? <laughs> We're going to cut them shortly. <laughs> We're in a place called Kokotahi, just outside of Hokitika, with one of the local icons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. What a bloody queer. Hey, Pao.